Hello all. So in this lecture, we'll see about strings. So we have already seen int, float, and some basics about strings. So string is a compound data type. So compound data type means it is made up of smaller pieces. We call the smaller pieces as characters. A string is a sequence of zero or more characters. The strings are immutable data structures. So what do you mean by this assume immutable data structure? So immutable data structure means internal elements of the string can be accessed. So if you are giving a string like apple, so the individual elements like a or p or p, then we have l and e, all these individual characters or individual elements can be accessed. Then you should know what is a substring. So it's a portion of a string. A portion of a string is known as substring. If we take app from Apple, then app is a substring. So we have a function called length for, to find the length of a string. So length is the number of characters the string contains. So if we give something like a fruit, I will show this example. So I am giving a string fruit equal to apple or something anything you can give. Now if you want to find the length length of fruit you'll get it as five. So it is it it has five characters. So length of string is five characters. Okay. So similarly length of hijack it will be eight so how it will be stored in the that system so it will be like this so h will be at position zero so uh, remember that for strings also the starting index will be zero and the last index will be seven even though the length is eight so it is from zero to seven so this dot this full stop will be at the seventh position so 0, h will be at 0, i will be at 1, then we have a space, i it will be at 2, like that it will go on. So length of the string is 8, so it starts from 0 and the last character will be at the 7th position. Then we have a subscript operator, subscript operator, I will show this example, then you can understand what this subscript operator is. So I am giving some a equal to I am giving some A. Okay. Now we have a substring operator we can access the individual characters. For example if we want to access the first second character. So if I give name of one so the output will be P. So name of one will be P. So that that means the first character is name of Zero. So it will be S. Yes. Similarly, if you want to access some other last character, uh, you can see the length of also length of string. So length of name is 10. So if you want to access the last character, so you should give it as length name of 9. So it will be S. Yes. So this S will be written. So in this way, this is known as subscript operator. This is known as subscript operator. By using the subscript and operator, you can uh, you can find out or you can individual you find you can get the individual characters. You can get the individual characters from that string. So this is known as subscript operator. So these are some of the examples. Now, if you you can also check for name even though the length of string is 10, uh, you cannot access the 10th element, it will give an error because string index is out of range, so it is from 0 to 9. So this is the subscript operator. Now there is another way to access this string, if you give what, we will see what happens if we give minus 1, name of minus 1, so it will return S, so it will count from this last element, so if you want you can check for name of minus 2 so minus 2 will be b so 
so in minus 2 will be p so this element will be returned so this will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like that it will go on so so it will be like this so steve jobs if we give some example like steve jobs so it contains 10 characters so length is 10 the first one will be at position 0 and the last one will be at position 9 so either way you can access you can either access name of 0 1 2 3 or if you want you can access using name of minus 10 minus 9 like that the last element will be name of minus 1 so in this way or in both these ways you can access this individual characters of this string and you can simply check this using this uh, function if you want you can see this for range of length of the string we have given that length of string sorry sorry so you can uh, if you want to check the you can simply print you can simply print what all you want to print if you want to print the index comma also you can print the name at that position so you can see that it is from zero to position you will, it will start from zero s will be at zero like that and the smallest will be at nine position so we have simply printed to, to check whether uh, in which all positions it uh, it goes string is stored the individual characters are stored okay so this is another example then we will see what do you mean by the slicing for substring so segment of a string is called a slice also we can call it as a substring segment of a string part of a string is called a slice or else we can call it as slice slicing so if we give something like this name is equal to we have given a string mark comma jack comma john like that you can simply give uh, what it happens is we it will return you will see this example then you will understand okay. so i am giving uh, names equal to i am giving some uh, name mark comma jack comma thomas okay now if you want to get some uh, substring you can simply get using this operator you know you do to get the individual characters you can get names of one like that so if you want to get the whole string you can simply give like this zero to and the cause zero colon simply if you get you will get uh, if you give like this you will get the whole string like this. and if you want to access only a part of the substring if you want to access only the part of a substring so what you have to do is so if you want to access this only this mark then what you have to do is you have to give four characters then you will get mark similarly if you want to access uh, starting from zero this is zero one two three four this is five and mark is at jack is starts at six this is six seven eight nine ten so up to ten so you'll get jack so j, j is at sixth position and k is at nine position so you have to give ten so what it returns is if it starts from this character if you are giving 0 to 4 it starts at 0 this is 1 2 3 up to 4 excluding 4 so including the first character if you give names of 0 to 4 then 0 will be included and 4 will be excluded so all those characters if you are giving 6 to 10 from 6 character onwards it will be printed and 10th will be excluded 10th character will be excluded So if we give n to m, it returns a part of the string from the nth character to the mth character, including the first, 
but excluding the last okay so this is known as slicing so you can get parts of it you can give various examples if you want john you have to count the character up to this j and the last character plus one you have to give then you can get the substring so this is a, another example so name equal to bananas i have given name uh, you can give only if you give only the second thing name colon three then what happens is from the starting for the first character to the last character third character so zero one two excluding third character so bian will be printed up so if you are giving like this name three comma then See, this will be 0 1 2 3 starting from third character till the end so it will be an s so name equal to minus 3 so minus 3 means so this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 3 so from minus 3 to the end so minus 3 to the end then you if you give name colon minus 3 it means this is minus 1 this is minus 2 this is minus 3 so starting from this hmm, uh, start, uh, this is colon 2 minus 3 so up to this character it has to print excluding this end so bna will be printed so in this way you can manipulate this substrings this is known as slicing then we can do comparison operator we can compare strings also using the comparison operator so this is an example so we have given name equal to bananas and if name equal to bananas then print s yes, we have no bananas okay uh, we will see this example so i have already typed this string code here so I am typing this banana. Now I am writing some code like this. If name equal to banana, a uh, name less than banana, let me. So this there is. I uh, given this as bananas. I'll give it as banana itself. Okay. So I have to give it as banana itself. So I have assigned a banana to name. Now I am writing this code here. Let me. Okay. So what happens is, uh, what I have done is banana is assigned to name. Then I am checking if name name is banana, banana less than banana. It is false because both are equal. So it is false. So this won't be printed. Then else if name greater than banana, so name is not greater than banana. So what happened else part will be printed print s yes, we have no bananas that's why it is printed here now we will assign some other thing name equal to uh, apple i'm giving it as apple okay now i am running the same code so your word apple comes out before banana will be printed because here name is as apple is assigned to name then name so name uh, apple so it is it prints in the alphabetical order so apple is less than banana a comes first you know so this statement is true so this will be printed so your word apple comes before banana now you can check for some other thing name equal to uh, orange now if you run the same code so now orange uh, orange comes after banana so that means name is greater than banana so this code will be printed that's why here your word orange comes before after banana so that will be printed here so comparison is also possible using this thing so you can compare using uh, equal to operator also so this is equal to name equal to banana and you are using double equal so this is comparison operator it will check whether this name is equal to banana then it will print like this so the comparison operator is also possible using strings so these are the references book thank you